So about six, eight weeks ago, we had a look at the uh, new eDeliver 3 van, had a quick look at the dimensions, a bit of the information. They've been on loan almost consistently for the last six weeks. We've now got one back home for a couple of days. I'm going to take it out for a test drive today, get my hands on uh, on the road, have a look at it, see what it can do, see how it feels, see how it drives, give you some feedback, and uh, we'll go from there. So straight away, as obviously the first you notice with no engine noise, you, you notice obviously there's some road noise. That's to be expected with all electric vehicles. So all round visibility uh, looks good. Obviously it's important with the van, as you see back corners, see what's happening behind you. So all the vans come with a central armrest uh, for both seats. As you can see, they're, they only come with two seats um, in the vehicle. This is to do obviously with batteries and things like that, about where the vehicle's got obviously all the space for the batteries. You do lose a little bit of something and that being a double passenger seat. So all the e-deliver threes come with uh, air conditioning in the standards. Uh, you have auto headlights, as we covered before. You have a, a CarPlay system where you can connect your phone up uh, to the uh, car media system. So I have to say, um, first drive of the vehicle on the road. It's, uh, I'm actually quite impressed. It drives well. Uh, and and been obviously working with the LCV for quite a while now. I've, uh, I've driven most vans um, in my on my time in the trade. This is the uh, first full electric vehicle I've taken out. I remember the Maxxis van was purpose built. It's it's not a, a, a diesel van or a, a petrol van or a, even a car. It's been changed and uh, transformed to, to fit a certain criteria. This was built from day one as a fully electric van. So in comparison to say something like a uh, Renault Traffic or a Transit Custom, you have to bear in mind obviously, so a load of rentals on something like the Maxxis Deliver 3s will be a, a higher monthly rental, you need to factor in what we call the uh, whole life costs on, on this type of vehicle. When you factor in the servicing uh, is at a minimum, um, fuel costs uh, for recharging of the vehicle compared to buying diesel at the moment is of a, a minimum. I mean, I, uh, I was in uh, London yesterday and uh, if I'd had to take a diesel van into there, I would have to pay fees, uh, congestion charges, uh, obviously the fuel costs. If I'd had to refill up at any point, I noticed the charges uh, for the fuel were at certain places, like a £1.30 um, a litre, which just the cost of fuel is just going up and up. Uh, obviously the cost to charge electricity, if you were charging the vehicle on your home premise or your work premise overnight, you could be talking at a, uh, a charge as little as um, nine pence per kilowatt. Okay, so that's the test drive completed on the Maxxis eDeliver 3. If you have any further questions or if you like any test drives or if you like any brochure sent out to you, please contact us at riververmaxis.co.uk or give us a call on 01273 433 953. I've been Rob and thank you for your time. Thank you.